Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are on a two win streak. It's something beautiful. It's something amazing. It's very unprecedented. And this time we are playing as good old Mastema. It's been a little while, especially uh, regular Mastema. I cannot remember the last time we've played as him. Either way, we are going to jump in and see what we can do. Um, of course, this guy is the devil deal boy himself. I would love, love to get in on some of that goodness right there. There is a lot of good stuff there. Uh, he starts with decent stats. I think it's slightly higher fire rate, regular damage. Um, and of course, the prayer card um, is all about those devil deals. That is just that is just taunting me. I was just saying how much I'd love to get in on those uh, get on in on those tasty treats. And I don't know. I've uh, I've been duped. Ooh, that's nice though. Um, for question of the day today, what is something that always gives you instant nostalgia? What is something that always, without fail, is just like a, an instant takes you back to like the simpler times sort of thing. For me, I, I would probably have to say it's any like classic Pokemon music. Like any of the any of the ones from like the Game Boy. Oh my god. Playing Pokemon on my Game Boy Advance, that was the peak of childhood. I had a pretty weird experience with Pokemon to be fair. Like, it was fairly normal in the fact that like like me playing it and stuff, but um because my, my parents are all about those deals and they weren't exactly super well off, um, my dad found like a, a copy of it on eBay that was like cheaper than pretty much everywhere else. Uh, and he found like a bundle, but I think it was like, I don't actually know, he never specifically told me, but I think it was like from Japan or something. It was some sort of weird bundle. Ooh, let's try and, um, I don't know if we able to do this. Uh, yes. Give me a bomb, give me a bomb, give me a bomb. Game, <laughs> not what I fucking meant. Um, but yeah, so he ended up buying like a bundle for I don't know. It might have been from like Japan or something. But anyways, I got them, and I had so I had a few things. For one, I had a version of um, Pokemon Blue. I think it was. Um, hello. I had a version of Pokemon Blue, I think it was, that this was free, okay, and it was an angel item, which is weird. Nice, I, I cheesed it. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was like a, a version of um, Pokemon um, Blue, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, that was in like Japanese, I think, and um, at least from our side, there wasn't really any way to change that. Mm. I'm gonna try this for a bomb. It gave me another fucking troll bomb! Are you actually fucking kidding me? I'm seething. I'm fucking seething here. Are you actually... Fuck's sake. You better give me the matchstick, boss. Otherwise, I'm actually gonna throw down. I'm actually gonna throw down. There's a bloody tinted rock there and all. You absolute shyster of a game. It literally gave me three bombs this floor. Not one of them could I actually pick up. Two troll bombs and one that was over a gap. You absolute master of trolling. You piece. You absolute piece. I hate you. With a burning passion and, and a delightful amount of rage. I will be angry at this until the day I die. I will put you in my will and it'll just say fuck you. All it will say. Fuck you, episode whatever number this is. 30, no, 42? 3? I have literally no idea. I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. Ah! My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I can't, I can't believe it. That is... I was trying to tell a story. I was talking about Pokemon. I was enjoying the nostalgia. And boom! I'm hit right in the balls with a Whiffle Ball bat. I actually have literally zero idea what a Whiffle Ball bat is. I don't know what the fuck Whiffle Ball is, but I've heard it as an expression, so I'm saying it. I'm guessing it's some sort of sport. <laughs> okay. Don't lose the devil deal here. That would be sad. This is a very tricky room that I'm not a fan of. You go away, you. Oh, bloody hell. Solar Maggie. Don't shoot the bouncies. 
Dude, how many of these stingers do you have? Why do you have more than one? Doesn't make any sense. Why won't these things die? Holy. Okay, we made it. We got there in the end. Gosh diggity darn. Huh. Anyways, back to it. Yeah, so I had that version that, yeah, we couldn't figure out the uh, how to change the, the thingy on. But I, I worked it out. It was, like, most of the time, things like that, they're fairly self-explanatory. It wasn't super, super hard to get the hang of what meant what. But I didn't play it all the way through because, obviously, it was a little bit tricky. But I played a little bit of it. But I also got Pokemon Emerald. Um, but I had a, what seemed to be in-dev version of it, like a pre-release version. I have literally no idea how my dad found this. I, I do not dare steal my charges. Do not dare. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how he found this. I don't really know the circumstances at all here. Um, keep forgetting that money's useless as his character. Um, yeah, and it was it was basically the same as the normal version. Except with a few differences. One of the key differences, which which happened to be uh, probably one of the s s saddest moments of my childhood, was that once you beat the Elite Four, the save data just deleted itself. It, it, like, you just couldn't play after that and you lost all your progress. Because, like, the, in Emerald, there was a good amount of things to do after the Elite Four, and it was just nice to be able to keep your save file to, like, have it as, not evidence, but kind of like a, hey, look, I did this thing. Um, and, yeah, I had... A level 100 Waylord that was my absolute child. Still my favourite Pokemon to this day because of that memory. And I remember finishing the Elite Four. Immense, immense amount of accomplishment feeling in my heart. I was just like, oh my god, I did it. And then an attack straight to the balls because... Straight to the feelings more like. Because, yeah, I uh, finished the game. It played out the little ending cutscene. And my save file was just gone. Completely gone. And yeah, I uh, I cried a lot. I don't know how old I was at the time. I was like 18. No, I wasn't like 18. <laughs> That'd be funny though, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, oh, we can take both. I might. <laughs> I might. Um, but yeah, uh, I was very very upset. I can't, I think I must have been like six or seven. I don't know. I was young. But yeah, I was I was very very upset about it at the time. It was pretty devastating. And yeah, I. Uh, I'm going to do my boss first, and then I might take the other item. Um, although I could just save it. I could just save the HP. Uh, boom. Huzzah. Danka, danka. Yeah, it was it was very upsetting. But yeah, the, the, the music from those Pokemon games, especially Emerald, is just so nostalgic for me. Every time I hear anything from it, I'm just like, ah, simpler times, simpler times. It's kind of weird, like, I, do, do you know that quote from The Office where it's like, you don't know that you're in the good, how come you don't know you, that you're in the good old days until they've gone sort of thing? Um, I don't really know wh where I want to go here. I'm going to stick with Devil Deal, I think. Devil's Box. I mean, that would literally kill me, so probably not a good idea. Yeah, I don't think I can do much with this, can I? Sad times. Um, the hell was I saying? I don't remember whatsoever. Something about the Pokemon music being very nostalgic. It is. It's very. It's very good shit. It's very good shit. But yeah, oh, that was it. About like um, thinking back to like simpler times, and it's like you like. It's it's weird because. The, the the place that I'm in in my life right now, I'm incredibly happy with. I I I think I mean I think at the minute, like this is going to be the point in my life that I will look back on with fondness because I am in a very very good job. Um, I'm obviously with my girl, living with my girlfriend, which I don't expect to change, but still. Um, and I'm just yeah, I'm in a good position right now. Um, but also I still look back on like school and college with a lot of fondness. Even though, at the time, it didn't feel like the best time in my life at all. And it didn't feel like it would be. And I still don't think it is, but I still, it's, it's still weird how much, like, nostalgia I have for sort of those times. And, like, if I meet up with my old friend from college and university, I still have, like, a nostalgia for back then. Even though it wasn't that long ago, it still kind of is nostalgia regardless of how long ago it was. 
Um, and yeah, it's just kind of an interesting thing, the way the human brain works like that. It's just kind of strange. I'm hoping we get some dank synergies for uh, the uh, Molten Slag or whatever it's called. I can remember it, Crackling Slag. I can never remember what the hell this thing's called. I just like saying the word slag, because in the UK it's uh, it's slang for, like, prostitute. <laughs> oh ho. It's synonymous with both of those. So I just, I just think it's funny. <laughs> like I said, it might not actually even be the name of the item, it's just what I've started naming it. I'm sure I'm getting it wrong all the time and people are confused. But yeah, it also means, like, the, the runoff. I think I think slag in terms of like metal and uh, and like rocks and stuff is like the runoff when you when you're like melting when you're melting rocks or melting ore. I think I think slag is like the the runoff or something like that. I'm not exactly sure on that. I could be wrong. I know it's something to do with like the the waste involved in like ores and stuff. I I, I really don't know exactly. The wording here is probably way off. I'm probably butchering this. Someone out there is like working at a quarry or something and they're like, excuse me, or a refinery and they're like, excuse me, Turtle Melon. Can't believe you'd misrepresent my career like this. How could you? But also, if there's someone out there like that, then get a life. Um, <laughs> I kid, I kid. Right. Let's keep on moving. God. That's another thing as well that I have to I have to try and avoid doing this because it is kind of weird. Like every now and again when I'm recording, I kind of have this little moment where I'm like, I'm talking to myself right now. What the fuck am I talking about? Like, I am just wittering away about nothing to myself. What am I doing? It's it's a very weird like realization, and I have to kind of put that on the back burner because otherwise I, I kind of get too caught up in my own thoughts and then end up not really thinking about the commentary that much. All bullet fires periodically spawn around the player up to three. Double tap to shoot them um, and leave trails of flames exploding on contact. We'll take that. Why not? And this time around I'm going to take the second one as well. Extinction event. I can't remember what this does. Is this, a, this is the bunch of meteorites isn't it? I think. It's an Andromeda item. I know that. Got some good stuff here. Got some good stuff. Right, let's move along. Okay. It's a lot of fire. So, we have a very, very fiery, um... Very, 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 very fiery based setup now. So, what I'm thinking is happening here is... It is dropping meteorites, but every meteorite triggers this, this thing of flames, which seems to be some kind of synergy, which is... Fucking awesome. And then we also have the fireballs to back us up as well. This is going to be a lot of fun. And this is going to be a four room charge item as well. I like it. I can tell you that now. I like it. Uh, no. I'm not trading health for the quarter. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't like this cursed eye goober. Also the fireballs. God damn they come back quick. That is definitely a tinted drop there. Ah, oh, balls to you, game. You know that's not what I wanted. Ooh, I really like the rate at which we're getting these fireballs back. I do not like the amount of bubbles that are surrounding me. I'm getting ever closer. All we need now is, like, fire mind in the mix. All the enemies are dead. Good. There's also a golden chest over there that we can't currently reach. Keep it going. Extinction event. Cover the fucking place in fire. Oh my lord. It really does cover it in fire, doesn't it? I love that little noise the frogs make. I don't I don't know what it reminds me of. It definitely reminds me of something. Maybe it's a reference to something that I'm not remembering. I wish I'd have used Extinction Event in here. I really do. I am liking this fire-based fiasco we've got going on right now. 
boom, boom, boom. Look, Penny, we finally made up for the one that we missed ages ago. Also, don't do it. Oh, thank you, Copper Bomb. You weren't a dick to me today. That room, however, was a dick to me. How could you? Right, back over we go. Didn't mean to... Do you know what? Extinction event. I do not like the way these guys are chasing me. Oh god, I'm definitely getting hit here at least once. Oh no, I made it out alive somehow. Missed a few rooms over there. Is this an Excel floor? It's not. I should have known that the moment I got Curse of the Maze there. We don't have anything that can give us two curses right now, so... Ain't gonna be the case. I'm trying to sort of check out how much damage these fireballs do on their own. I don't think it's a ton. Because, especially considering how quickly we get them back. And we don't get fiend hearts like we would if we were playing as the fiends from them. Which is fine. I kind of expected that also. And this is where our boss is. Gotta kill these guys fast because they do some bullshit. Got an explosive thing there. These guys get reworked as well. I keep forgetting that. Beautiful. I just like tap firing constantly. I need like chocolate milk or something. That would go really well. Chocolate milk's an item that I, I genuinely cannot remember the last time I saw it. It feels like such a long time ago. It's such a good item, but yeah, I very rarely see it. Extinction events. It's raining fire from the ceiling. Now we just need like herming with this and it would be absolutely perfect. Got the money bag, peoples. Don't take away my eternal heart. I will cry. A bunch more money that's nearly useless. That is my one hang up with Mastema. I think he's a great character, but I really don't like how he just how his shops are just pointless. Like you just money like obviously you can still play beggars and like machines and stuff, but otherwise money is just completely useless. So you always have fucking loads of it. I don't really know how you'd remedy that, to be honest, because I do kind of like that the shop costs HP. I think that's a good addition. Hello. Oh, fuck me. Dude. I did not know that's how the crabs functioned. I lost my eternal heart because of that jabroni. Fireball seems to be killing pretty well. Very annoyed I lost my eternal heart here. You're on fire, sir. Right. We are going to get another eternal heart back, so it kind of worked out, but... Still, I'm annoyed. Right. Extinction event is ready to go. We are ready to go. And the boss is ready to go bye-bye. Bye-bye, bossy. It is a thingy boss. Um... Big boy boss that I don't understand very well. We lost our angel deal chance here. And we got hit again, also. A boss that I thoroughly just do not understand. We did still get our deal, which is good. Um, prayer card. Take this. Random penny. And our devil deal is okay. <laughs> you just got wrecked by those spikes. Nice. Krampus's head. Sadly, it is not for us today. Damn, Devil Deals have been a bit dookie. Devil Deals have been a bit dookie. Oh, these things can destroy rocks. Interesting to know. Or at least put out fires. I'm guessing it also goes for rocks as well. I should test that out in this room if I can. Let's leave this guy to his devices. Okay, no, it doesn't work on rocks. It just puts out fires. Good to know. Oh, what? How did I get hit there? That guy pulled a fast one on me. Yeah, see, like, there's money here, but I have literally no care in the world to grab it. There's no point.
Oh, we've got a rainbow champion here. Always a little scary. Especially when you get hit by them multiple times. Okay, that's actually pretty good for us. Because now we have a usage for money. We can get one-ups from money. Every 100 coins we get, we get a one-up. I was, I, I, it's kind of funny how I was like, oh no, I'm on such low health and I just traded away the health that was missing and now I'm fine. You don't work the way I think you did. Oh, fuck me. Fast little fuckers. I'm going to need that one up. Oh, God. If these guys do full heart damage, I think we're burned. It's extinction event time. I can't really see what's going on, so it's not going to go too well, but... Stop jumping, you big fucker. Can you at least give me some health? That helps. Jetpack. Oh, lost my eternal heart. I'm sad about that. We've also got the, the rock as well, which helps. I do keep accidentally walking into everything, which is slightly annoying. Ooh, that is a pretty good, uh, pretty good trinket in my opinion. This should give us a one up. Yes. Okay. We actually have an extra life now. And I can take this. Because it's fun. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Does this give us homing to everything? Because I think I just saw homing on one of my fires there. It fucking does. Awesome. Okay, this is great. <laughs> this is very, very good. Now we just need a way to bomb rocks more easily. Then we're going to be really, really sitting pretty because we can get multiple one-ups. We don't need multiple one-ups, but we can get them, and I'd like them. But yeah, this is uh, looking pretty good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this rune does not work the way I thought it did. Yeah, our fires have herming now. That's awesome. I didn't think it would work that way. I'm very glad it does. Hello, you. I don't know what's going to happen with our meteorites, I'll be honest. Seems like they're going to get a little bit wacky. What are you doing? Creep? Oh god, more creep. You've turned green, sir. And now you've turned yellow. I did not know this guy did all this. This is cool. I've not seen many of this guy's attacks, to be honest. He's got some cool ones. He's got some really cool ones. He might be one of my favorite bosses so far. Oh, Matchstick! Now you appear. Now you appear, do you? Mmm. Little bit too late, friend. Little bit too late, I'll be honest. There's another revive. And there's Fate. Fate for flight is good. Oh god, a little burn, burn wiggler boy. Scared me a little. What's this? Death card. I might as well. Yeah, I'll take a death card. Why not? Saves us an extra room. See? Chat shit get banged. Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? 
Goat head is a little bit late for goat head, but I, I will accept it. I like the fact that the fireballs also have herming. We fire those off, they kind of herm in on the enemies, it's cool. Makes them way easier to hit, I'll say that for sure. Little chest and a chest there. Chest on chest, chest action. Chest on chest action. Don't know why I can't speak right now. I like the idea of um, a blood-soaked Mario wearing a, a decapitated goat's head underneath his Mario hat. I don't know why, but I find that image hilarious. If someone would draw that, I would be eternally grateful to you. Wish I could draw. <laughs> that would be nice. I don't have the time or the patience to learn either. <laughs> oh god, this room's horrible. I do not like this. <laughs> I love that little noise they make. <laughs> or of Babylon. Not very good. We'll take this. Robo Baby X. Could you move, you stupid block of shit? I feel like I've been personally attacked there. Um, how is the room not over yet? Excuse me? What the fuck's going on? What the hell was that? Why did I take so much damage to a seemingly nothing there? There seemed to be an enemy attached to me that I couldn't see. Alright, game. You do you, I guess. Bizarre. You go away as well. Just fire those fires out. Trying to get another one up if I can. I don't know how plausible it is, but we'll try. Extra soul hearts there, it's very lovely. Hello, mother. How are you today? Bosch Rush would be a lot of fun with this setup. Kind of wish I'd have made it to Bosch Rush now. Kind of wish I'd have made it to Bosch Rush. Setup's quite interesting. Also, this fireball is just homing in on something, and it seems to not sh be sure what. Okay. Beautiful. We will take... We did um, Dark Path last episode. Let's take Chloride this time. Money equals power is pretty good for us here. I will take it. Let's go. We've not really had any damage upgrades this run, so that's good. Not that I can think of, at least. Oh, we got the little um, golden tooth thing. That's a damage upgrade. Yeah, get ourselves back up to 99. Pretty, pretty sharpish, I should think. Especially when we see stuff like this. Holy. That's a lot of mole. A lot of guacamole. Goddamn, notched axe is like showing up like crazy for me recently. It's a very good item, but goddamn. Leave me alone. You are all over the shop right now. I just used my eternal heart and I don't think it played the animation for giving me the eternal heart. Or making a whole making a half eternal heart into a full heart. It didn't seem to play the animation at all. Right, we're good? Yes we are. Let's go. I would like more bombs now, please. I very much want a way to destroy rocks on the regular. Right now. We can't do much. If we see, like, a single block like that with three bombs, it's just not worth it. We need a lot more, uh... Hello there, sir. We need a lot more rocks. God damn, it's a cool version of Pride. That is a very cool version of Pride. That is a tinted rock there, though, so I will do that. And we got more bombs back for it, too. Beautiful. See, this is a situation we can go for it. There's plenty of rocks around it. We get a little bit more. Oh, we don't have the bloody... Or the rock trinket anymore. It doesn't matter. What am I on about? 
I'm speaking crazy talk. Wait, what? My eternal heart seems to be broken. It didn't give me an eternal heart at all back then. You see that? I used it and it didn't give me an eternal heart. I am very, very confused. You do you, fella. You do you. Oh, God. Don't actually do you. You're throwing out loads of crap that I can't understand. Blood bag. Good money already. We've already went from like, what was we on, like two cents at the start of this floor? Something like that. We're very low. Maybe we're like 17, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. We've gained quite a bit. Oh, for God's sake. And there's a better opportunity right next door. There's always more around the corner. Just give us another bomb and we'll be happy. We'll be on our way. No extra bomb? What the hell? I specifically asked you to give me one. What's up with that lock just in the corner of this room? This is a vanilla room as well by the looks of it. Taken care of. I think I've got to the point now where I'm pretty familiar with pretty much every enemy in Fiend Folio. I feel like I've played it for long enough that I've seen, apart from the like rare spawns, I've seen all the regular enemies for each floor. I think. Like, the game still could have more to offer, but I feel like I've seen them all, and I'm really happy with them all. I think they're all really cool. There's not really, really many enemies at all that I have any problems with. I'm really loving Fiend Folio a lot. Get shit on with fire. How did I dodge that? No idea. Oh my god, the amount of fire. Creatine powder, hell yes. What the hell's this? Fire daggers alongside your tears. Enemies, um, enemies when killed drop gems that power up your dagger. That seems dangerous, but a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm going to take it. I have two revives. I'll be fine. Oh, shit. The gems for one make beautiful sounds. Okay, so it seems that um, something happened and now I am um, just gaining a half heart, a half soul heart whenever I use my active rather than gaining an eternal heart. I don't know what I did to create that effect, but hey her, it is it is what it is. I'm not sure if the uh, powered up dagger is for the floor or for the room. I think it's for the floor, but I'm not entirely certain. I really like the sound the gems make. They look very pretty and they sound very wonderful. They don't really fit into the game's visuals, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold that against them. Why hello there? I can't take either of you, but hello there. Okay, this was very lucrative. Get it? My name's Luke. Haha. <laughs> Terrible pun. Is it even a pun? Three random cards. And spawn three random pills. Three horse pills. Health up. Bad gas. Full health. Good shit. Good shit. I like that uh, card. I like. I just. I like stuff like that where it gives you more. Like it's. It's a new way to get rare things like the horse pills. It doesn't guarantee you get a bunch of horse pills, but a fifty percent chance of your three uh, spawned pills being horse pills is great. You got lucky and got all three horse pills. I just think horse pills are so cool, but they're so insanely rare under normal circumstances. Yeah, health is looking so much better now. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure how long my dagger's going to stay powered up for as such. I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. Right, you've been taken out. Ah, he's dead. Don't cry. Uh, we're going up. But yeah, let's just just take a look when I use my prayer card next floor. Prayer card. Yeah, just gives me a half soul heart now. Very confused by that. We're nearing to max damage. I don't want to go over. I want to keep my damage. So I'm not going to bother going over 999 if I can help it. Oh my god. Shit slaps so hard. I barely even remember what the vanilla music is anymore. This shit just slaps too much. God damn this mod. This mod is so good. I can't believe how much I love it. <laughs> like, I really was was planning on, like, this. I, I, like, I came into Fiend Folio thinking I'm definitely not going to like this. Because I just didn't really like the AB Plus version. But god damn, I love it so much. I think it's so good. For the most part, it's so cohesive. And it fits into the vanilla game so well. And it's not very laggy. And it just really shakes up every run in a major way. Because especially with, it being, with there being so many enemies to see... It's very much so that no run is the same, because not only are you picking a different path, getting different items, but now you're also seeing usually vastly different enemies from run to run. Like, before, the, the one thing, even though the rooms would always be different, the one thing that was consistent with this game is that you'd always see the same enemies um, on every floor each time. Like, of course, that's still the case here. You do see the same enemies on each floor, but what, more so what I mean is, um, if... Five, six, seven, eight enemies can appear on one floor. You'd pretty much always see all eight of them on every every time you went to that floor on every run. Whereas now, it's like, oh, there's like 150 enemies per floor. No, it's not quite that much, but there's like an extra 50 enemies per floor. And it is a bit varied to whether you see all of those enemies in each floor or not. So there's actually a bit more variety in what enemies you end up facing each run. And it adds even more variety to a roguelike. And variety in a roguelike is literally the entire point. It is the thing that keeps us playing. And I think Fiend Folio has probably done a very good job of, especially as it's continuing to be updated, it's done a very good job of adding probably another good few years of life onto this game, at least for me. I can definitely see myself uh, playing this a lot. My stats are getting wacky. Oh no. Especially with music that slaps so hard. Can't get over how much it slaps. The fiery hells. Where's all my meteorites? There you go. Come on now. Drop on the head. This fool. Drop on your head. Drop, drop, drop on your head. Do, 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 do. Right. You've been taken aback. You've been absolutely doused. And fiery Fury. And we'll see what our items end up being. It's been a really fun run. Definitely been some close calls, but that's what my stem is all about. Risk reward. So we've got... Oh, Vault of Havoc. Oh, we don't want Vault of Havoc right now. We've got a book, which is the Book of Sin. We've got the Fiend Mix. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. That's my HP. It's taking away. <laughs> Um, I hope it gives me that back. I didn't realize it was uh, taking my HP. Oh my god. That's a lot of dagger strength. Okay, good. It does actually give me it back. I was a little worried there. And that's Shadow Glass in the bottom right. We don't want, we don't want to take that. Nobody cares about no Shadow Glass. I think it is powering up my dagger permanently, you know. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it feels like it might be. I had to really tell the, the power levels. This guy, this guy's a really rough boss. He's going to detonate. 
He's going to blow. There you go. We get that like glowing red effect when we pick up so many of them. Meteorites falling. Dolphins in the room. Confused by the dolphins, but we'll take it. Excuse me, these are my charges. How dare you? This is another resprite that I absolutely fucking love. This boss looks so mean. Oh, are you kidding me? I pushed it away from the bomb. Yes! Miss Spooter! I like Miss Spooter. She's cute as hell. I'm tap firing a lot just to try and uh, make sure I keep firing my imp bombs. This has been a really fun fire fueled run. I really like these sort of ones. I just wish we'd have gotten like um, a few more fire based items. Could have just given me fire mind. Would have been absolutely loving it. Still, extinction event plus the herming trinket plus this um, molten slag or whatever you want to call it. Absolute perfection when mixed together. Here's our boss. Right. Let's go. Do one. The fiery brimstone. Turn you to dust. The, the, the fireballs do seem to have a pretty hard time of actually hitting in the middle of the room for some reason. I will say that. They get there eventually. I like the way that the fire size scales with the size of the meteorite as well. So sometimes the just giant one lands and creates an absolute like that. An absolute massive plume of fire. Beautiful. Anyways, we're going to leave off this run here. A pretty good one indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.